Hey guys, Ed here, bringing you another Soul Calibur 6 showing more video. Um, today's going to be a relatively short one compared to some of the ones we've done before, but it's going to be a bit of a tech piece. Today I want to talk about specific, one specific move, and that is B plus K or B plus K hold. Now, B plus K hold is one of the ways that she can transition into um, her stance, and B plus K is actually technically a stance itself, as it has one uh, or two, I guess follow-ups ooh, you know big deal um, it's a weird move and I think I think it has a lot of application but it, you have to know when and why you're doing it not just using it to close the gap in all the time um, and I do see a lot of players doing it or using it in that respect I don't really think that's the best way to use it um, so I will show you some of the ways that I use it and uh, well that was one of them there but we'll get to that and what, I, what my thoughts are on the move. So let's start with that. I think B plus K is a average to low tier move comparing it to some of Shenghua's, or comparing it to the rest of her uh, moves. One of the ways I use it off of round start, I, get, I probably should have picked a better secondary character here, but is I'll use it when I'm calling out a high advancing move. So for example, um, Nightmare 6 AA, it's a move that I can use to call that out. That isn't me just going raw um, A plus B2. Sometimes I can be too slow or um, a raw 4-4 A hold, which is super risky. Um, so it kind of negates that risk. And it also lets me, if he does do that, on reaction I can just hold it, or uh, I can hold B, right? And you can actually delay it quite a bit. Like if you look at my moves list, she's already well into the spin before I'm, I'm holding down the button, right? So then you can just get a free, free hit to start the game off. Uh, with that if he does go look to do that right or if you're feeling really gutsy you can do this go into pxs and do k and get the uh, lethal hit for that one right this is good against ivy too it's good against some minas who like to use their 6a um so on and so forth right you can come up with any example you want but you get the idea so to summarize that the first way i use it is a is as a round starter and generally it is the held version to go into stance that's more just my preference um now i'm not saying i start every game like this by any means i have to have a reason and i never do this really round one i always do it further on in the set when i know how they like to play so the i use it as more of a set play tool that's the first way anyway the second reason i use it and probably you know well yeah the second reason i use it i guess is I'll use it after um, some bread and butter instead of finishing the combo with 6KA after a launcher. I'll do that and it will um, just set up an interesting situation. So if we do 6BB, right? Well, here, let's just do this. All right, so if we do this, right? That's the standard combo. But instead what you can do is this. Right, so now you've got Stan Soki. Um, now you have to have a reason for doing this, and one of the reasons I do this is I'll flex this, uh, you know, maybe once, maybe twice in the game beforehand, and I'll do the kick attack every time. And then what I'll do is the third time, or like way late in the game, I'll do stance into grab into CE, right? So it would look something like this. I apologize for the yawning, by the way. Right, so something like that to close out the game. If you look at her life bar, right, I'll just let this play out. You can see that this does, you know, 60% or so, if not more. Yeah, so almost almost 70%, so 65% of their health bar, give or take, off of just landing a 4-4-A and spending a bar, right, and getting the right read. Right. The other thing this can do is if you've already conditioned them with the, um, the kick option, right, so what I mean by that, just clarify, is this. Um, is it will allow them, or they may also start REing on getup or soul charging. If they RE on getup, then you can just do um, stance A plus B, and if they start soul charging, then you just do the regular finisher, right? So that's just the second way I use it. So first, I use it as a round opener, um, or like a heavy read on a high attack, right? Like that's really what it's for. And I never use really just the raw B. I I don't really use this. If anything, I'm doing all or nothing, and usually I'm just going right into stance. Or just raw, B plus K. The other way I use it is um, probably the last major reason, is I'll use it after 6BB uh, against a grounded target as a combo ender. So what I mean by that 
is say you do well so say I did this right full cross 3k into b6 into 6bb as opposed to b slide k right let's just say I did I did that so let's let's do that right there so I really like to roll there um, you know and this is better if it's like max range 3k so probably something like here yeah because the b plus the b slide k is gonna whiff right so instead i go for 6bb but then they're so far away you know wow so yeah there we go so i even whiff it so you know i just wanted to get the demonstration here. wow well there's a tech trap for you guys <laughs> um there we go and then i apply pressure from there because if you do 6bb usually the reason why we opt for like a BK Ender usually is because it's much better Oki and you can maintain that distance or that range, right? Whereas the 6PB as an Ender is going to push them away and reset the neutral and you generally don't want that as Shenghua in most matchups. Um, so the B, the B plus K is a great way to get in and it also puts you in a crouch state. So you can either wait a second and get access to your standing moves, right? Or you can use your full crouch options or you can use your well rising options or 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 you get the idea right so you can just apply some serious oki even after a 6 bb um so that is the other kind of the third primary reason why i'll use the move is i will use it as um, um i guess we could call it extended oki if that if that makes sense like instead of being this close for oki i'm allowed to be this far away and i can just get right in and go for go for whatever I want. And the last way that I would use it is as a you know, if I'm calling out the high. So it's kind of a touch on that point. If I'm calling out the high and I, then in this particular case I would just do the regular and I would hit them for a uh, wall combo. Right. So this would be another way to do it. Now obviously this is her best wall combo starter, but like you're never going to get this. It's just never going to happen. Right, but if you ever did something like this, you know, would be good. Wow, if I could ever get the splat. Anyways, you get the idea. So, <laughs> those are some of the ways that I use B plus K or B plus K hold. Let me know in the comments how you use B plus K, uh, or if you, you know, what you think of the video. Um, you know, follow me on Twitter. I'll likely follow you back, and like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day.